Well, hello folks, welcome along to the channel. I am the Custard Prophet, back here with our main save for FM24 with Vista Krakow. This could be it, this could be the season that we win the league, but it is mighty close. There's four games left, and as you can see, we are level on points at the top with Lech. Uh, what you will see is they have played a game more than us, so that win against them was critical in the last episode. Today, we have a enormous game as our first of those um, four games, and this will be against Legia Warsaw, one of the top dogs in the division and in third position currently. If we can win in this game, it would be absolutely massive. We maintain would maintain our three-point gap over Lech, and we would keep Legia Warsaw at bay. And we just have three games then to, uh, to play. Um until we knew we know who is going to win and all three of those against are against sides in the bottom third of the uh, league so it it feels like it's so important to get something out of this game against Legia let's have a look at how our results went in since the previous uh, episode well yes you can see here we we played Pogon who are fourth drew 1-1 one, one. doesn't tell the entirety of the of the match we absolutely dominated they had one shot uh, on target and they scored it in the 73rd minute they really did not trouble us for much at all we we scored a goal from jose maria should have got a lot more we should have won that we should be two points clear of where we are now which would make things a lot nicer i would feel far more comfortable than i do now but whatever happens if we lose this game against Legia. In, in many essence, it, it's not the end of the world because then all we need to do is we need to make sure we beat the bot, the next, win the next three games. And they're all against teams that we tend to do quite well against. Right. Let's, uh, shall we have a look at uh, this game? First of all, let's have a look how we've done previously against Legia. This is the side and this is how far we've come. When we were in the division below at the start of the save, we played them in the cup final, lost 6-0. But what you will see is we've beaten them in our last four games. Can we continue that run? If we can, my God, it would be awesome. Let's get in there and play this game. Right, folks. We're taking a bit of a risk here today. Um, we have an injury to Garitano. We have an injury to Oz Osarik, the, um, the central midfielder. But we also have an injury to uh, Javi. Sorry, a suspension to Garitano. So Javi is got a little bit of a niggle. He's out for a little bit. Uh, but we are going to give him a go on the left side because we need to be as solid as we can possibly be. And the next best player we can bring in is this youngster, Philippe Semper. And I don't believe he is good enough to step up yet. Outside of that, we got nobody. So, yeah, we'll um, we'll play this one by ear. But the hope is that Javi can do a job at that left-back spot um, on one leg. So, team we're going with here for this critical game. Jose Maria, John Jules leading the line. Delgado still on the bench. Ardenaz on the left. Uh, Morcello on the right and Click and Poeta in the middle. Poeta just back from injury himself. Javi, Sarah, Rufo and Key across the back line. Bobek in goal. Right, folks, I had to reload that because I had the same thing that happened previously and I thought the game was just too important That where the game took Click out of the side and then everything went up. So we had the goalkeeper as our, as our striker. I think this game is far too important just to... Um, allow that to happen so we reloaded and we're gonna we're gonna go with an actual team that i think can compete so here we go here's key puts the ball th forward but we just about get the ball back there oh that was it was so close everyone just getting their foot to it a nice start good shot early doors and click makes such an <laughs> I was going to say, an important presence in the middle of the pitch as he gives the ball away. Unfortunately, oh, Jim, just over. What he what he does in terms of creativity, he does give up a little few chances as well. And you almost have to say, well, you know, we'll we'll take that. We'll, we'll, we'll accept the odd mistake. Right, here is key into 
uh, Morsi Puerta into click. So you're going to go through the through ball. It's again, he's lost the ball. Not ideal, but I don't want him to change the way he's playing. Ooh, almost through. It looks like um, looks like the, the chance may be going for them. Vidal. We've picked the ball up here. He's clicked. Now he's found somebody. It's into Jose Maria. Through ball. John Jules. Oh, was that a goal kick? It was a goal kick. He missed the target completely. There was the chance, folks. There it was, right in front of us. Couldn't take it. Well, it's a solid first half. I'm not too disappointed with that. Question is, have we got a goal in us in the second half? I hope so. We, we're probably going to bring Delgado on. Jose Maria has looked all right. But you just think Delgado might be that little bit better. <clears throat> well, Delgado is on the pitch. Can he make the difference? He's key. Remember, his heading is one of his uh, quite effective attributes. Morsi into Ardenaz. <coughs> oh, oh, please. No! <laughs> Scoring offside goals is another one of his um, attributes. But this one counts, folks. This one counts. That could be the goal to end all goals. Ardenaz, first time into Delgado through Odysseus. And we are 1-0 up. Can we hold on to this? Here we go. Ted Arase's come on. Oh, Rufo over the top. John Jules is off. We've also got Rubio on. Javi is on one leg, pretty much. Right, we've just... We're basically going a little bit more defensive here, a bit cautious, not going to try and create. It's taken the be more expressive on, off. There's five minutes to go. This could be huge. There is a highlight. Is it going to be for us? Why would you play that ball, folks? Why would you play that ball? Oh, <laughs> oh God. How many times do we want to give this away? What are you playing at? What are you playing at? Oh, that's an utter, utter disaster. <sighs> Another game where we, we did enough to win the thing and we have given it away with a mistake at the back. What are your thoughts on that? We didn't lose it, so we keep... A distance ahead of um, the, the, the of, of Lech. We're a point ahead of Lech. We've got a much better goal difference. And we're coming into the next game here against um, GSK, GKS Tiki, who we have beaten quite a lot. Can we do this? Let's have a look who Lech are playing next up, because this might be interesting. They're away against Piast. This is not an easy game. They've also got away games against Arakov to play. So there may be game, maybe points dropped somewhere in here for them as well. But uh, let's see what we can do here again in our next game. I'll see you there. I am gutted with that. We should, we should have taken that surely. Oh. Well, I'll just show you. We've got some uh, additions to the squad, and you can see here some interesting players. Some potential five star potential players, including a couple of defensive midfielders. Don't look outstanding, do they? But I mean, that guy could do pretty well. Good technique, good teamwork. There's so maybe some good in there. And a, and a centre back as well, who, yeah, he might, might come to something. I think there's a lot of work to do there. <laughs> Don't know why we signed them. But some, some relatively good talent that we could look at in the future. Right, let's go forward, and we're going to play this game against Tishi. Right, here we go, folks. You can see Piast are playing Alec. That's a big old game. Um, you feel that, you know, maybe there's something there for them. We're going to get into the side. We've got a couple of injuries. So we are going to have Javi on the bench uh, for this one, and um, we're going to be going with the this side, Jose Maria, John Jules up top, Ardenaz, Click, Poeta, Morcello, uh, Garitano, Ruiz, Arufo, Key, Bobek in goal. Come on. I just, 
I, I want to get the win here. If we get the win here, and we, I've got to say actually that uh, Legia won their game. So they're two points behind us. If we win this, we go five points ahead of Legia, and that will give us a um, an important lead in this whole thing. So here's Key. Here's Morsi, who's been a decent acquisition, actually. Oh, that was close. Goals in goal. Right, Ardenaz now. Down the right side. They come out for that. What is he doing? Oh, the goalkeeper makes the save. I mean, it's not the most convincing save. Couple of shots stinging the palms of the keeper in the first four minutes. Here's Ardenaz. Jose Maria. Off the bar. Oh, Jesus. It's not going to be one of them, is it? We are, we are at it. In a big way at the minute. Here we are. Far post. Um, or corner, as they call it. Here we go again. Jose Maria. It's in. He's done it. He's been all at them. Now let's get more goals. We want to be, we want to be out of sight for this. <laughs> they are absolutely on it for this game. First 10 minutes, we've just had shot after shot. But lovely little bit of calm play from Jose Maria. Just curls it into the uh, the top corner. Eight shots in 10 minutes. All right, here's Garitano. It's at the back, though. Ruiz, who's coming to the, uh, into the side. Obviously, he's lost out his place in recent times. Click. Ardenas making a good forward progress back to Ruiz. Now, Click looking for an opportunity option there. Ruiz into Ardenas. He's, he's on a run. Into Garitano. It's Morshi. Key. He's going to have a shot as well, is he? Oh, there it is. Josh Key. The man who only can, comes good right at the end of seasons. <laughs> he's just... Oh, fabulous. We're 2-0 up and we can breathe. We won't know what's going on in the other match because they've still got... Um, I think there's a gap between when we finish and they start. So we'll certainly come back to see how... Uh, the other team are getting on. Um, and when I say the other team, I mean uh, I mean lack. Here's Jose Maria. Lovely bit of play. Oh, it's just wide from John Jules. You can't beat this team playing like this. Why haven't we done this more often this season? 2-0 up is... I mean, they say 2-0 is the, the most dangerous scoreline in football. So let's make it 3-0 if we can. Jose Maria, look how dominant we've been. <laughs> and there's Click. Doing his, doing his business, you know, metaphorically doing it on 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 their goal line, absolutely dominating them, Jose Maria, and it's just, it's just so nice, goalkeeper off his head. <laughs> well, there we go, three nil, and you feel there's more to come. Now, we know we've got games against Zaglaby is the one after this away from home. That's the tricky one. Uh, oh, no, is that the... No, I think that's the last game. We've got a game against... I can't remember the team name. Starting with O. Alderdraz or something. The one that we've... I don't think we've ever lost to them. Here's Garitano. Ball in. It's four! John Jules. Sharing the goals around. Absolutely glorious. What do you say to this? Is this is this champion form of champions? It's, we'll know a lot more come the end of this episode. We'll know whether they have um, they're still in the hunt, just on the on the same points as us, or or you know, it would just be a point behind, or have they dropped further back with a very tough game against Piast, and then they've got to play Arakov, who are no easy side to beat. So. Yeah, All right. Well, it's a little bit, a little bit um, all over the place with the with the pass in there. But I would guess at four nil up, it perhaps doesn't matter anywhere near as much as it does at nil nil. But Garitano, ball in. Oh, it's just wide. Everyone wants a goal. Another highlight. Uh, Tiki are struggling. Here's Jose Maria. Oh, it's. Five, five nil. Outstanding. Right, maybe a chance for them. Hector Rubio is um, uh, he's come on just because 
um, Morcello was yellow carded, so we didn't want to you know, get a red card or anything for him. But here, well, no, he actually hasn't come on off yet. Still waiting for that to happen, but he will be coming off. Right, Adamski. And here goes Key. <laughs> Is he going to run all the way? Beautiful play, John Jules. Oh, and it's just wide there. I think we're going to make some changes here. Yeah, so Delgado's coming on and Carlos is coming on at 5-0. They've certainly had a little bit more at the end here. We've we've kind of slowed it down a little bit and not really not really kind of um as as kind of going for it as we were. Well here it goes. Click. I think this is probably just a substitution highlight. We're gonna bring on Sempa, the left back, for his first start, first game for the club. Here is Garitano. Click. It's Carlos. Just wide. Well, bit of a injury here. We've got um, Delgado has, has gone off injury. Injured. John Jules is injured. <laughs> and well, Rubio just runs in and scores. But that's, that's just a little bit of a dodgy end to everything. Because we don't want to lose John Jules. We certainly don't want to lose uh, Delgado if we can avoid it as well. Considering both of those are starting to look much better. Oh, there's Rubio. Top corner. Right, we've taken off. We've got no strikers on. We're just keeping John Jules. Um, we're just, just making sure that... Because we're not going to lose this now. Um, but we don't want to get any more injuries out there. So we've got nine men on the pitch at the minute. And we finished with nine men on the pitch. But we are win 6-0. It was a pretty dominant display from... A really, really excellent group of players. Very, very happy with that. Fantastic performance from ev absolutely everyone involved. Right, folks. Well, that's going to do wonders for our goal difference. We're on to 51 goal difference. We are now four points ahead of Lech. So what are they going to do against Piast? Are they going to get a win against Piast? Because if they don't, they f they're four points behind us. And you know what that means? We have got just six points to play for. So that would give us such a good opportunity to win this league. Fingers and everything crossed here. Right. Broken an ankle for Delgado. So, nah, that's not grace. That's great. Uh, John Jules is probably going to miss the next match. That's not great. <sighs> right. Right. Let's see what happens. Oh, no. They've got another win. They're hot on our tail. Two late goals. And they continue on. Dear God. They just are unstoppable. <laughs> oh, thank God we got a win against them. They're playing Vistler Plot and then Rakov in the next two games. Can one of those teams do us a favour? Because I'm slightly concerned. We have tripped up a good few times against these, these sort of sides. Opiol, that's it. Odra Opiol. Now, we've already beaten them once, 6-3. It was a ridiculous game. Um, and you can see the only other time that we've... Um, well, when we've played them, we haven't actually done that well against them. So, I'm ever so slightly concerned here. Anyway, folks, let me know what you thought about all that in the comments. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Let me know if you think we're going to win the league. Or are we going to fall at the final hurdle? Fingers crossed we don't. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.